Okay, you know, good day guys, good day to you as always. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. I don't think this one will be a, a quick one. Just a video, you know, speaking a little bit about Andre Blake and his comments on social media. See, um, we have to talk about it because it is indeed very important, I think, to speak about, you know, an important issue that the captain of our national team is speaking about. For those of you who would have missed it on social media, Andre Blake posted a caption saying a new head coach with the same federation will probably equal the same results. See, now, I have kind of noticed, and the main reason why I wanted to speak on this particular issue is that I've kind of noticed that Andre Blake's morale seems to be dropping, or he's, he, he seems to be having a low morale anytime he represents the Jamaica national team. I'm, I'm noticing it, right? You know, allegedly, he would have decided against playing in that game down in Suriname in the Nations League. You guys remember that? Seeing the Suriname, you know, for want of a better word, walk out. Seeing and kind of understandable that he would not have wanted to, to represent or he would have found it difficult to represent under those circumstances. Seeing... And, and I noticed it even from the, the World Cup qualifiers, just his body language seemed to have been an issue for me in terms of, when I say issue, it, it, it was not really an issue, but it was, it was evident to me that his body language, didn't, he didn't seem to be happy when he was representing Jamaica. I noticed a difference in his body language when repping Philadelphia versus when repping Jamaica. Now, you know, this might be, you know, mine over matters, so to speak, or not true. It might be very well happy within the national setup. I'm just telling you what I have noticed with my own eyes. I'm not, you know, passing it off as facts that, you know, his body language does indicate of a fact that he has low morale. But I'm noticing these little things, you know, not showing up or not turning out for the, the Suriname game down in Suriname is his body language statements that he has made in the media like this, you know, latest statement that he has made. All of this, you know, is pointing to one thing and one thing only for me personally, and that is that our captain is growing an increasingly frustrated figure, right? He's, he is quote-unquote, suffering from a low morale when he represents Jamaica, right? I don't know if you guys have noticed it as well. You guys can hit me up in the comment section and let me know what you think. But it's, it's, it's interesting comments and, you know, you know, people are split on it. Some people have opinions one way. Some people have opinions another way. What I will say is that not everyone has a high tolerance level for foolishness, right? And some people, you know, deal with challenging circumstances differently. Some people react to challenging circumstances differently, right? And that's just facts. And if this is the way that Andre Blake, you know, feels to vent his frustrations or feels to, you know, react to these particular set of circumstances, or this could just be his little way of protest. This could be his way of, you know, trying to make a difference, so to speak, right? One of the things that I want to point out, one of the things that I want to point out, or I want to ask the question, is the morale of our players being affected because of the manner in which Jamaica's football is being run? It's an important question to ask. Is their performances on the pitch being affected because of what is taking place? 
in Jamaica's football, you know, things that they notice when they turn up for national camps, etc., etc. Right? Things that they would see, things that they would have hear that they would hear. Remember, they are on the inside, you know. So they are privy to a lot, even, you know, a lot of things that even we as media personnel are not privy to. I remember Dalton we did an interview one time on Sports Max, if memory serves me right. And he was basically saying in the interview that when asked the question by Maria Ramner on the Sports Max zone, if, you know, the hellebal who going into, and I'm not quoting verbatim, going into that Saudi Arabia game. You remember those Saudi Arabia games, set of games, and the first one who would have lost three nil if memory serves me right. He was asked the question, did the hellebal who going in, can you remember there's a lot of controversy going into that particular game. He was asked, did it affect, do you think it affected the performance of the reggae boys? And to be fair to him, he gave an honest answer. An answer that can only be deemed honest because the answer was not flattering to the, the federation. He admitted that, yes, the hellebal who going into those games would have affected the boys' on-field performance, right? Administratively, things have to be right. Things have to be right administratively for us to see success on the pitch. You have to remember these players are only human as well. We have to remember these players are only human and these things will affect them differently but it will affect them nonetheless and you cannot blame players for you know playing under you know strenuous circumstances so to speak and not being affected also one has to bear in mind as well that this is our national country we're talking about right so so the the, the emotions i would imagine would run a bit higher, you know, patriotism, you know, there's no, uh, there's no patriotism for, for club, but there will be patriotism for country. There will be patriotism for country, right? And the desire to see the national team, you know, enjoy success. And seeing that the national team is being burdened by poor administration. Also, Who's to tell if Andre Blake don't look at this reggae boys team and say, boy, this team has so much potential, but yet still it is struggling to achieve its potential because of the National Federation and its incompetence. You know, the sad reality of the matter is that I understand the frustration because I myself as a fan and as a vlogger of Jamaica's football, there are a number of times when it break even my spirit. And, and, and I know I've spoken to other vloggers as well, and I know that sometimes they feel that way as well. And I know you as fans feel that way as well, where it, 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 it just reach a point where sometimes you just feel for forget about it, or you just feel for stop being a fan of Jamaica's football. Or you, you, you just can't bother with this foolishness. I've had moments where me, I feel to myself, yo, but me just can't bother continue with this vlogging about Jamaica's football team because it doesn't make no sense because it, it, it just does not feel as if there's even an effort to bring about change. And it's very frustrating. It is extremely frustrating. One of the frustrating things for me as well is that it does not appear as if anything different will be tried or anything different is, is being tried, so to speak, right? You get the feeling that the same administration will be re-elected, you know, come the next election, right? And you get the same vibe and the same energy that this foolishness will just continue and continue and it won't stop, right? The culture of this JFF body is one where it seems as though regardless of the administration, the federation will still not be run properly. That's just the culture, right? The leopard, you know, 
not changing its spots regardless of, of you know, whoever is running this JFF Federation, whoever is the president, whoever is the board. One of the things that I'm always sitting down and I'm always saying to myself is, what can be done to bring about change? At any, you know, from, from anybody, from any one of the respective stakeholders, whether it be fans, whether it be parish presidents, whether it's FIFA, whatever it is, media, you know, what can be done? The only people that really and truly, when you think to yourself right now at the top of your head, can really and truly bring about changes, the parish presidents. But are they motivated to do it? Is it in their best interest to bring about change? You know, all I have to say, and, and it's something that we have to continue to explore as fans. What can be done to bring about change? right anybody have suggestions hit me in my comment section you know contact information in my description hit me you know hit, hit up those respective communication lines you know i am very interested in just any ideas as to what can be done to bring about change i will say this in closing though i want the both the reggae boys and the reggae girls to don't forget that you are not representing the Federation. You are representing Jamaica, right? No matter how difficult it may seem given the, 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 the circumstances that you may be placed in, just remember you are not representing the JFF. You are representing Jamaica. You are representing the fans, right, who crave, who crave good performances, who crave joy being brought to the nation by virtue of good performances and good results emanating from our respective national teams so you know when the vibe of frustration comes around or you know you know you, you feel as if boy you just can't bother with this foolishness going forward just remember to 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 keep your head up Hold your head up. Remember who you are representing. It's not the JFF you are representing. And this is going to, especially our Andre Blake, who has been such a, 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 in my opinion, you know, some may disagree, and that's their, you know, business. But in my opinion, you know, Andre Blake has been such a humble, such a loyal, and such a great servant to Jamaica's football. I just only hope that the frustration and the anger can be put aside, right, going forward when representing the Jamaica national team. So, guys, that's my two cents. Knock up like button, hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.